There's something about you stepping into the place of understanding, or really understanding what drives you, what motivates you, what inspires you, what brings you joy, what enriches you, what makes you feel alive, what makes you feel purposeful, what makes you feel alive. What literally lights you up? What literally fills you with joy? What makes you want to see the new day? What makes you jump out of bed? You're coming to this place of realizing like, okay, even though you're coming to this place of understanding and realizing that even though you want some things, there are other things attached to it that you will not see. But the truth about it is, as long as you keep holding on to what you want, you're always going to get it. But you can't go into this journey by thinking it's just going to be one way. Like, you're like, okay, I want a cotton, pink cotton candy. But then, what you want is the pink cotton candy. You're not thinking about, oh, the vendor has to, you know, get the ingredients, has to get the sugar, has to get their tools, or they need to pay for their tools, how they need to have trained in the skills of making cotton candy, or, you know, whipping it up, how they need to move their hand, how, you're not thinking of all of, all of those. <laughs> you're not thinking of, oh, maybe there'll be a queue waiting, or maybe the vendor has injured their wrist, or, oh, you're yeah, thinking about is the cotton candy. <laughs> So what I'm getting is like, there's something you're working on for this collective, if you're seeing this reading, there's something you're working on. And you might seemingly be taking a bit more time than you'd expect it to. It's like, okay, and it's coming like, it's, it's taking a bit more time. It's coming up with like some challenges. It's coming like with some blocks, some hiccups, some, you know, something years like you have to backtrack, move forward. <laughs> Okay, is this thing really going to happen? Is this going to play out? And it's one thing I'm being guided to tell you is like, in as much as you want that end outcome, the trick about it is the most important thing is actually your journey to that end outcome, to that um, point, to that final point. It's a journey you're willing to undertake. So don't lose sight of the fact and how much you've been changing in this process of reaching your goals because that's actually what matters. It's not it's, it's everything that's happened alongside. It's how you've grown, it's how you've challenged yourself, it's how you've elevated, it's how you've taken risk, it's how you've gotten stronger, gotten more tough gotten more mentally resilient you've gotten more emotionally intelligent you've gotten wiser you've gotten more devoted you've gotten more dedicated you've basically been purifying yourself so it's not exactly the end outcome it's the journey through there's something about you having to understand that is this journey through what i'm also seeing is like you going through this process of refinement is like your gold of being burnished and and refined and you know so that all impurities will be taken out of you that's why if it feels like the journey is tough no it's not tough it's just that things that are going to not be useful for you that are going to reduce your shine your glamour your you know your power things that will be like impediments like disturbances impurities those are the things being stripped away from you by the different circumstances you are confronting by the different challenges that rise up by the different obstacles that seemingly rise up as the obstacles are rising up they are giving you an opportunity to grow through it and it becomes a lesson i mean it becomes a lesson it's something you know it's something you absorb it's something Thing that becomes part and parcel of you and what that helps it also helps to confront your shadows your fears your doubts okay so many of you if you are saying this at this point in time you're being asked to like go deeper okay so you might be seeing this video at the point in time where you are really just judging and asking yourself like okay is this all worth it can i continue can i keep showing up now is the time for you to actually like go deeper this is like you stepping into a cold stream and you know at an initially felt a oh, it's so cold can i swim in this cold river it's so cold but then if you allow yourself to rest and relax and swim you find yourself swimming for two hours without even realizing like oh it's so cold so there's something about 
all these things helping you to acclimatize to this new level of experience you've never been this person you've never done this thing before you've never made this moves you've never invested in yourself this much you've never trusted in yourself this much you've never trusted in your skills your experiences you've never pushed yourself to this point so see it as okay it's you acclimatizing like they're making me like literally shiver because that's what you're going through so that's bodily reaction is just you acclimatizing to this new environment that's not a call for you to withdraw and dash out of this trip that is a call for you to actually step to inside and be like okay yes i know i'm supposed to be here <laughs> Because if I was not supposed to be here, it would feel too lukewarm. It would feel so ordinary. I wouldn't have any experience or memories of it. I'm supposed to be here. That's why these things are coming up. In fact, okay, I, I was about to say, spirit was about to say, bring it on. But I'm like, some of you are like, I know. <laughs> Let me finish delivering this one first. <laughs> okay. But what I'm also saying is like, this, this things, these obstacles coming up, they are testing your virtues, they are testing your will, like do you really want what you say you want, are you really willing to stay the course, are you really willing to stay in alignment with your desires, with your vision, with your spirit, with your dreams, are you really willing to sacrifice everything for your joy, are you really ready for what you say you want, or are you just saying it, are you just saying it, are you just saying it, Okay, so all these obstructions, all these challenges, they are helping to clear away what is not useful. What you've absorbed and thought about, like, okay, what you thought, oh, this is part of me. And you're like, oh, this was actually not part of me. It was something I imbibed because I thought, because it was, it supported that version of who I am, of who I was. Now, in this new version of who I am, <laughs> this thing is actually not part of me. So, okay, let's carry it away. So, now I want you to start seeing like any hiccups as oh, opportunity to clear away. Oh, okay, so what's, uh, what beliefs, what doubts, what shadows, what fears, what trick, what, uh, what is this thing triggering, and uh, what's the truth of the situation? And just keep pushing forward. Just keep making your way forward. Just keep pushing forward. Just keep making your way forward. You guys, there's also something about you might be feeling like eating an apple. So, when you are seeing this video, yeah, it's an apples, red apples, green apples. There's something about you understanding, like, what you want. Like, the entire point of this spirit is telling me to make sure I don't forget to tell you. What you want is already yours. What you, the fact that you want it is already yours. The fact that you want it is already yours. Right now, you're just becoming the person who has it. That is it. What you want is already yours. It's already in, its, in existence. It's already in existence. Now you're just becoming that person who has it. Like another example they're telling me to give is like someone like you want to drive a Lamborghini. You want the Lamborghini, but you don't know how to drive. Like you're you're not just wanting a Lamborghini. In fact, what I'm now saying is a red Ferrari. You want a red Ferrari. You don't just want it. You want to drive it along the mountain. I'm seeing you like convertible Ferrari, um, roof down. You're like driving on the freeway and you're just cruising. That's what you want. That's already in existence. You already have the Ferrari. You're already driving. But the matter of fact is right now you cannot even drive. <laughs> You don't even have a driving license. You cannot even drive. So, for you to become the person who is driving the Ferrari, you can see in your imagination, you can see in your visualization. For you to manifest that person, you have to go to driving school. You have to learn how to drive. You get the driver's license. You'll be confident behind the wheels. You'll be able to trust yourself like, oh, I can't drive. So you go into your Ferrari and drive without getting into an accident on your first drive. So do you understand? So all of this happen things happening right now is you going through the process of learning how to become a good driver, of learning how to become, oh, a baby, like, you know that movie, that baby driver, being able to, like, shift gears and do crazy things. <laughs> Right now, you're going through the process of becoming a very good, competent, and confident driver. Someone who can sit behind the wheels and, you know, drive with your eyes closed, with one hand cruising, and, you know, drinking, and, like, <laughs> okay? 
So right now, my love, you are going through the process of learning how to drive. So that's why it might feel, if, you, if it feels like you're experiencing delays, it comes, you're not yet where you need to be. is because you are going through that process of learning how to drive. And then the impurities are falling away. What is no more efficient for you? What is no more in alignment with you is falling away. So that as you become that person who is a master, competent, confident driver, before you know it, you're already in your Ferrari. So whatever your Ferrari is, whatever goal you're trying to achieve, it's already done. Right now, you're just in the process of becoming the person who lives in your vision. Becoming the process of in the process of becoming the person who is manifest who has manifested that vision the vision is manifested you are now becoming so this is you right now you are going through that period of change that process of change okay embrace all of it embrace all of it embrace the hiccups the delays the challenges the obstructions the Embrace all of it, embrace it with joy. If it were not happening, you would not be on this journey, you'll never enjoy what you're doing. It's not your challenge. Embrace it, okay? Embrace it. You guys may also be feeling like setting up altars on your own if you don't already have one. Just somewhere you, where you can commune, where you can start your day, a private space for you to connect with your inner self, for you to connect with your higher self, okay? So if you've been thinking about one, I want you to set it up. And as I said, your altar is going to, it's very straightforward. There's no need to overthink it. You don't have to overthink it, setting up your altar. It's just going to be a place for you to come into oneness with yourself, for you to come into oneness with your higher self. All right. You've got Oracle of Delphi, Akashic Library, and Abundance. <laughs> all right, so as I said, you're already becoming this person who manifests all your dreams. Right now, you're just in the process. And the truth about it is, it's going to happen sooner rather than later. Like, you've come too far. <sighs> you're telling me to give you time. Even eight weeks is too long. Right now, eight weeks is like, oh. For some of you, this is happening in eight months. It's eight weeks, eight months, depending on how far you've come along in your journey. But it's going to happen. It's going to. You guys are going to be seeing two four eight as well. One 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 and one one five. Okay, it's going to happen. So it's like eight weeks, eight months in the blink of an eye. Was it's months compared to the rest of your lifetime? Was eight weeks compared to the rest of your lifetime? But those two times are significant. Eight weeks and eight months, okay? So right now, yeah, in this place of just manifesting and bringing your vision to life. Like, see, the canvas is plain. Spirit is like, baby, paint what you want. You want that, you've gotten it. Okay, so become that person. You want to become a global entrepreneur you want to become a wealthy landowner you want to become you've already become it you it's already yours now become that person become that version of you become the version of you who has the habits who has the attitude who has the skills who has the competence who has the self-belief who has the self-love who has the self-trust who has the self-esteem of who that person is do you understand okay see wish is fulfilled <laughs> All your manifestations are coming to life, you may see. You are already settled. Everything you want is ready used. Now you just have to complete the process of becoming that version of you. Which is fulfilled. Abundance, food, joy, love, wealth, everything, and money. Just stay the course. This is not time for you. You are seeing this video because you're like, I don't know, can I, can I, can I still go on? Baby, stay the course. Stay the course, you've got this. Everything you want is already yours. You are just in this process of becoming the person who gets it. Finish. Alright, I'm going to cut this reading at this point. I love you. <laughs>